motherhood is a bit hard at first but hey what's up good people welcome back to this channel today i want to talk about being a first-time mom i am a first-time mom if you're new here and i am sarah a first-time mom and my baby is eight months imagine he is eight months and i am super super proud of myself as this love how it have been i just love the process of this getting into motherhood yeah because what i would say about motherhood is motherhood is a bit hard at first but when you just get into it because motherhood is not just an instant thing like when you just give birth and your baby is here and now you yes i am a mama i have all this no yes you have the mother instincts in you but they've not developed ama they're not funny funny mature so it is a process and it's going to take a day at a time the first thing that's going to change is your social life am i going out you will not be able to just be going out as much as you would ama as much as maybe you used to do to be ama to just go out because the baby needs attention the first thing is to give your baby full attention and that comes automatically this you want this to give your baby full attention you just want to know what he wants is his diapers wet is he full yeah just want to know how he is has he slept am at the right hours am you just want the well-being of your child and that's when this you're going to be this there give him all the attention also your life is going to be revolving around this six bathroom kitchen sitting a bedroom yeah your life is going to be there for a bit for some time before you even can think into that you now a mama and now you will not even have that time to just go out there hang out with friends just when you become a mama say no to this random events random parties random things that you have to be a plan i must just have to plan everything you have a meeting you have this you have that you just have to plan everything uh being a mama another thing is just going out becomes so hard especially the first few days because you have to pack the baby stuff you have to pack his bag with clothes a set of clothes diapers sweater swaddle the shawls it becomes so much work and guys you don't want this to even bother your child because when the immediately you start maybe moving he's going to experience the change in environment that moving also so it's not planned to just start moving around with a newborn so you're just going to just be in the house just even when your friends just call you or something you will not be able to just move around a bit another thing that's going to change is mango chaff guys ama your laundry ama clothes dirty clothes because you have to change your baby a few times a day two three four times because sometimes he has pooped another time he has i mean i'm a bab sometimes this you have to just to keep on changing him sometimes poop in meguza manguo yeah you just have to keep changing his his clothes and also on yourself amekubapia amefanya nini yes you just have to keep changing even yourself so utakuwa na manguo you will have so much ama so many dirty clothes another thing that's going to change is this you for my myself i just became a bit harsh sick of my neck when everybody would just come in the first thing that he would do ni kupitia kwa either kwa sink or game corner how much just sanitize themselves even if there were there was no covid i would just sometimes visit homes when there's a baby and they would have sanitizers and that's something i had know that we have covid it's even more important you don't want people to from kunyo ametoka to just and come start holding your baby the baby is sensitive has as well as emergency and stuff so it's just wise to keep your baby a bit safe a bit yeah just ensure your baby is safe 
after you this give birth i would advise you to just be taking walks maybe in the evening just take a walk just breathe out because once you give birth you will be indoors so ama you will just be indoors taking care of the baby and just doing a few things here and there so it's just advisable even this it even helps mama in a kuzanga hand to just avoid the postpartum depression on myself i can say in this idea sana just going out every day every day and just purpose to just be going out it helped me this with this not to get maybe into depression just go out there you feel so good by the way just go walk around your area ama if you just say something mnaendeanga jioni just go for it get someone to hold the baby and you just go so when you're first time mom just take a day at a time just give yourself time i'm a room to just adjust each and every day learn a new thing just get into the mood i'm a just get into motherhood a step after a, i'm a step after another a day at a time just learn new things to just do not just be in hurry to just say oh i am a mother i need to know this i need to know that no you think i young mama and there's a reason they call first time mamas a my young mothers even if you're 40 you think a young mother because you have never been a mama like a real mama don't be harsh on yourself another thing is just you want to just to keep your baby safe you don't want people to just be around you around this time especially with covid just if you can keep friends uh, okay friends and family just away if you if they are maybe working or something don't just allow people to just knock into your house no right now there's covid and guys you don't want people to just come in you don't know where they spend their days what they are doing all the weekends i'm a something especially here in kenya the scraps and food everywhere people are back to normal but covid is still out there and people are still dying so the best thing would to just keep by yourself just let the baby be don't just allow people to just come in when i gave birth we just didn't allow so many people we would tell people mm, amikuza but we will tell you when you're ready especially those people yes there are those people who immediate family you can just block your immediate family because family is important but there are others that you can tell them mm, I may put about just a few days and then Nezanda Kukuza. Yeah, and those people maybe would come one at after the other without coming in large groups and then they would just see him and that was awesome because we were able maybe to protect okay, we may not be in a position to just protect our babies. But just being careful is important. Again, you don't want this your baby to just be exposed to even the COVID or something else. Yeah, just take a day after time. Be a mom. Don't be hard on yourself. Motherhood may be a bit hard, but guys, you're going to make it. As a first time mom, remember your healing. You've never given birth any other time. Remember, you still need maybe to keep your family, your husband. You have some few things to do in the house. And also, the baby demands you. So, don't be hard on yourself. Take a day. If you don't know anything, call your mama. Or my, just anybody close to, to you. Your bestie. For me, I had my babies. My besties. Up to now, I have my besties. Sometimes I call them. Sometimes I call my mom. Sometimes I call my aunt, who is very close to me. So, don't be hard on yourself. Just take a day at a time. And eventually, things will be good. Am I going to see the difference? Am I going to... Yeah, eventually, Utona, you're going to just be here. Because motherhood is beautiful. Motherhood is sweet. It's full of love, guys. If you've never felt some kind of love, that motherhood is so good with that... I don't know how to explain it you just love your baby you hold him like this and you're like i just love him i don't know where it comes from but motherhood is so sweet that is it for today guys do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button also thank you for the 300 subscribers and 29 thank you thank you so much 
share this video to your family and friends and guys see you